found a way to win. Yeah, I, I think it's a good lesson for all of them. I, I think because the game, will, you know, the humble you, and uh, you know, it, it's not going in every night. And you know, like for Jawan, I thought in the first half we had some real good looks, and it, it is good, you know, that, that happens because it's going to happen at times. And um, you know, I said on the radio that I felt anytime Jawan and each one does not shoot the ball well and we win. I don't care who we win against, that's a positive, that's an improvement, because you're going to have nights, um, your leading scores you know, you know, are not going to shoot a high percentage, but um, I think we had some looks at times that didn't go down. I think we had some forces, though. I think we forced it, we turned the ball over, and, um, and we had some good stretches. And I think in exhibition games, sometimes in non-conference games, you're, you're trying to get some experience, you're trying to get some flows. And we had some, I thought we had some lineups that really worked today, and I thought we had some lineups that really didn't work. And uh, you, you kind of live and learn through that. And, but this was a good learning experience for us. Um, you, you try your best to play people that are going to help you um, get better. And Midwestern State was tough. They were athletic. They were quick. They could break you down. Um, Baylor played seven players against them and uh, got beat by eight, nine points. And they were an Elite Eight team last year. So this team was 31-3. and three. A lot of new guys this year, but they still have some guys that was on that team. And uh, you know, this was a very good game for us. I think we made some improvements today. Last, after last game, you talked to us about you know the, the one area of the defense. You know you thought you maybe stopped it down the baseline, and they, but they threw it out on top and got an awful lot of blank. I think you know especially Correct. got a lot of open looks. Uh, better on the perimeter tonight, defensively. Yeah. yeah, I thought we were better. Now that this was a different different, different style. style yeah. yeah, different style. And I thought we did a better job of communicating on defense and and talking and uh, just trying to keep the ball in front of us. When we did let the ball funnel, it seemed like it was funneled to Juwan a lot, and that's something we like to do um, to where we're, we're trying to push it. You might beat us, but you're going to beat us towards our shot blocker, and I think that really helped. He, did, he only had a couple blocks, but I think he changed a lot of shots um, tonight. But, I, but it, it was a good you know, game for us defensively. I, I thought they gave us some problems, though. From offensively, just from a screening standpoint, a movement standpoint, a flow offensively. You can't use your dribble on every single play. You have to be able to move the basketball and get some screening action. And, and tonight we kind of struggled with that. And at the end, we did some better things. But, you know, for the most part, you know, we got to be able to make that adjustment. It's early, but the free, I, I would think you would be a little concerned about the free throw shooting because some of your really good free throw shooters yeah. missed them tonight. Yeah, and it's something, you know, we, you always put in time and you always. Uh, you know, you put in time when you're fatigued in practice, and uh, you try to get them to, to get their routine, and you chart them, and you you do everything in your power as a coach. But um, it, it's just a concentration thing, and then they got to go up there and step up there and do their routine, do the same thing every time, and, and knock the free throws down. But um, you know, whether they made them all or missed them all, you know, we're gonna we're still gonna spend time shooting free throws and trying to get them, um, you know, to where they get into game-like situations in practice when they're tired and they step up, and they got to make kind of that pressure free throw. And how much do you think these two exhibition games helped you? I mean, you just said about Midwestern State and the success they had, but of course Indianapolis knocks off Tennessee last night. It wasn't like you were playing, you know, cupcakes at the Division Two level. Well, I think um, you know, for us, it, w it was something where you know, like Stan Gerard from Indianapolis is a, is a friend of ours, and you know, he's done a great job there. And, um, those guys play very hard, and they have athleticism, and you know they're going to get after you. And uh, Grant McCaslin, you know, coached at Midland Junior College, and he coached him and your chalice, and so we have a friendship, you know, with him. And I've been to his practices, and you know how hard his teams play. And uh, you just don't, you know, become, you know, a couple possessions away from going to Final Four Division Two without being a good coach. And so we want to go against guys that are good coaches that are going to prepare them, that have a lot of high-level talent. And when you're at a high level in Division Two, you're really like a mid-major. You know, that, that's, that's kind of the quality of play, and you have that kind of quality of coaching. And we want to bring teams in here that, that can beat us and uh, help us get ready for non-conference play, just like non-conference play is going to help you get ready for Big Ten play. Matt, was Sandy sick, hurt, or late? Oh, I'm sorry. Um, he hurt his foot the other day. Okay. You know, it, was, it, it was swollen. It got black and blue, kind of the base of his foot. And um, he, he looked like he just kind of tweaked it. But then you know, it got swollen the next day and got black and blue. And it's kind of amazing because when I was, I was there when he broke his foot last year, and we literally were doing five on zero dry. And he just made a simple cut. And then, you know, it looked like it was absolutely something where you just step off the court, come right back on, and he broke it. So um, 
He needs experience more than anybody, but I, I think it would be foolish for us, um, for anybody who gets hurt on our front line, to send him out there. And, you know, I think that would be counterproductive when the game actually doesn't count.